Hello, I'm Linda with the Spellbinders Tuesday video tutorial. We're keeping along in the spring theme and today it's designer's choice and I wanted to show you two of my favourite dies that are great for making cards that are spring based. I'm using the Romantic Rectangles 2 for my card base and I've used the number 4 die, the largest, and I have folded it just inside the line so that it actually is a card base you will see and I've also cut an extra one to make the top of the card. I've also used the tag from that series to make my sentiment tag and I wanted to show you that I've used the Butterflies expandable pattern die and I have already pre-cut this but I wanted to show you that um, if you run it through and it doesn't all cut then turn your plate at 90 degrees and cut it again but should you not have success, if you just get a shim of paper and pop it underneath the area that's not cutting. Now you'll see here that these ones are popping out, but the ones up here not so much. So I need to put a shim on and that will add that extra bulk to get them through. I'll just do that now. Right, we're now using um, repositional tape and I'm popping the front on. And we're op I'm opening up the card and I want to make a window so I'm using my A2 Matting Basics A and I'm using the number 5 die. We're just, I'm moving that up towards the top and securing that with masking tape so that it doesn't move. Okay. We're going to run that through the grand calibre. I'm also going to emboss this to give it the lovely dimension using the brown mat and the pink embossing plate. I've removed the insert and we'll put that aside for another project one day and you'll see that I have created a window here. Now what we're going to do is we will remove the top layer and we'll also cut the butterflies expandable down to the the size that you're wanting. In my case it was 11 and a half centimeters by eight and a half centimeters and we're going to pop that inside the die and I have one pre-done here to show you. Right, the next thing we're going to do, I'm sorry, I should have said at the beginning, we need to cut two of these because we're going to take our butterflies and we're going to chop, well, cut some individually. Just easy to do. Now we're going to do 16 of these. It sounds a lot, but it doesn't take much time. Okay, and when we've got one, we're going to color it using, I'll just put that the right way, the daubers and my daubers are normally ink, well inked up so we're just going to pop the dauber on and add a bit of blue. I'm using the new Imagine Crafts Radiant Neons in the electric blue and the electric yellow because they remind me of spring, the colours. Now add as much colour as you want with that and here we have my finished ones which I've pre-done for the sake of time. And in there I have placed a Wanna Scrap Teardrop Rhinestone and I've also used some liquid glitter. We're taking our butterflies and I'm just folding up the wings a little bit and then we're just going to pop them on using liquid glue in the center. With the side frames, I want the wings going over the edge of the frame like that. All right and we're going to do this with all our butterflies. All right now we're adding the last one and I find it easier using tweezers or my scissors to to put these on and if you use quick drying glue that's even better. All right just give them all check that they're all lined up. Beautiful. All right the next thing is adding the ribbon and the slider or the buckle. I have a Wanna Scrap Bling one and what I'm going to do is just pop it through the holes. Okay, I'm using my Easy Runner to just add some tape and sticking the ribbon down at the front and the, the join is under the buckle. 
and we're just going to do the tag and again I'm sponging with the Imagine Crafts electric blue and the radiant neons and I'm just going to lightly go around the edges and you'll see that that forms a frame and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on there from the uh, Stamping Scrapping Labels 25 Floral Friendship set. I've stamped my sentiment using Versafine Onyx Black in the Imagine Crafts and I'm using some Crafty Foam Tape on the back and just lining it up here. All right. And there we have it. The card is finished. All right, thank you for stopping by today and I hope you're inspired to get out those dyes and product that will make spring creations. Um, remembering that this dye can be used for embellishments as well. It's great to have two uses for our dyes or more. Thank you very much. Bye.